and welcome to Caravan Escapades. Um, good morning to you all. Um, it's a bit of an early morning. Um, I've got the caravan on the back. This is the first time since at least probably October last year. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, I'm on the way to the dealers today to have a little bit of work done. Um, I'm going to have an extra security lock fitted to the door um, and a Wi-Fi antenna fitted to the roof. So I'll do some videos on those anyway. Um, I could have done it myself, but because the caravan's still under warranty and both involve drilling through the body of the caravan, I thought it best to leave it to the dealers to do at least that way. If anything goes wrong, they can, um, uh, we, we're covered that way anyway. So, quite exciting have the caravan on the back, not had it on for ages. Um, first time since we've had some major work done on the car as well. Um, had some major work done on the car basically over Christmas, um, turbos replaced that sort of thing. At the same time, I had it, I had the car remapped um, to give it some more lower end torque. Um, so I'll be interested to see how that tows. So uh, I might pop in again and have a chat with you on our journey, uh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, just to come back to you with a bit of an update, um, about an hour into the journey um, on the way to the dealer. Um, our dealer's based in Royston um, with Nottingham, so I've stuck with the dealer, we met them at the NEC and up to this point they've been absolutely brilliant with us, um, service has been great, so, um, so certainly for now I'm very pleased and would happy to uh, to stick with the dealer. Um, anyway, so a few things to update, um, first time towing the caravan after having the remap. Uh, very very pleased with that um, certainly not that the discovery was a problem to the caravan before um, but it's even better now um, certainly pulling up hills um, effortless no problem at all it just sort of glides up the hill still plenty of power there uh, and fuel economy I'm getting about three miles a gallon more than I did previously so really really pleased with that as well um, also first time well First time properly to sort of vlog on it that I've been able to um, uh, to talk about or try having the Alco shock absorbers fitted. I had the Alco shock absorbers fitted uh, last year to the chassis, uh, and that certainly made a big difference as well. The, um, the caravan certainly a lot smoother, a lot less bouncy, um, just feels a lot lot nicer towing. The other thing I did at the same time as well was have the wheels balanced. Um, surprisingly I didn't realise that new caravans don't have the wheels balanced. Uh, you probably wouldn't realise it so much because um, you're not travelling in the caravan but hopefully that's going to stop any sort of rattling and shaking and, and that sort of stuff so it's wheels balanced as well. So another bit, the tyre pal. This is the first time I've using the tyre pal. I've got a vlog um, that I've done on that which I need to upload it so if I haven't done it already uh, keep an eye out for the vlog on the tyre pal. Uh, the tyre pal is a um, tyre pressure and temperature monitoring system. Um, I've got it for the twin axle and the car so it's the first time using it for the caravan. That seems to be working great as well. Um, monitoring all the tyres. Had a very slight issue with it this morning first of all that one of the rear tyres on the caravan it wasn't registering it so it wasn't picking it up, it wasn't telling me what the pressure was, wasn't telling me what the temperatures were um, but after probably about five or ten minutes that um, that came into life. Now I know the sensors kind of have a sleep mode uh, and once you start moving they tend to sort of kick in pretty much straight away. Um, so we'll see how we go on the way back, whether that makes any difference. But all in all, very pleased so far. Should be getting to the dealers sometimes just after sort of eight o'clock. So I may, uh, I may come back to you then. So we shall see you soon. Okay, so I'm just about to turn up at the dealers. Um, let's see how busy they are and whether we can kind of get in there. So just a little bit further along here and turn right, they normally come and uh, you pull into the yard and they sort of uh, normally disconnect. So let's spin this around so you can see where we're going. So let's hopefully I can turn in here. Is there room for me to get in? Yeah, so we can spin around. Make sure we're not going to hit anything. Yeah, it's quite a small yard. So we shall see how we get on. So I shall catch up within a bit. 
So that's the caravan all dropped off. Um, pretty COVID secure sort of situation. They all came out um, disconnected. I didn't even really need to get out of the car, although I did. Uh, all masked up, disinfected um, every surface that was going to be handled, that sort of stuff. So um, all in all, I thought it was pretty straightforward. So it's just a case now of me um, sitting around the corner. I'm going to, there's a big Tesco around the corner. So I'm going to sit in there with a the laptop and get some work done and wait for their call. So just to recap on what they're doing, basically they're going to fit me a new security lock um, onto the door, onto the habitation door. Uh, or just an additional security lock uh, but I've also asked them to fit a Wi-Fi antenna um, on the roof so uh, so going through the roof and it's a Wi-Fi antenna they've supplied they could fit the full kit themselves or supply and fit the full kit themselves um, but that includes the route and what I've been so I've already got the um, uh, Netgear Nighthawk um, which I've already paid out for that I've supplied the antenna and they're just going to carry out the labour so we shall give you an update later on okay so the dealers have just phoned um, and told me everything's done and the caravan's ready so i'm just about to sort of pop off there around the corner um, which i didn't think was too bad um, they've only had the caravan sort of a couple of hours so it all seems quite efficient uh, but we shall see uh, i'll keep you updated okay so just coming off the roundabout back towards the dealers i wonder if the caravan's all ready for me to collect and take away Let's have a look. Um, let's spin this around so you can see. Uh, they're just offloading one. Um, let's see if I can squeeze through. Yeah, and there's the caravan ready to go so I might just have to um, let's spin round I might just have to uh, wait outside for a moment while they offload this one um, for those of you who are interested if you didn't notice right next door to my dealer is the uh, headquarters for Hotel Chocolat I might have, I'm going to have to let them finish unloading this one really before I can uh, I can go in. So, um, all right, I'll uh, switch off for now and then I'll come back to you very shortly. Actually, just watching this one being unloaded, I wonder if it's a brand new caravan or whether um, or brand new caravan delivered directly from um, Swift. Um, it must be, it's got no number plates on, so it must be a new caravan order being delivered for somebody. Here we go, I've just been beckoned in to collect it. So let's Put the camera on me. It's back in. Again, it all should be done pretty much sort of COVID secure, so that's a bit of a tight spot. So just watching the reversing camera as we go forward, forward backwards I mean. Right, let's see how we get on. Right, so that's it all hooked up, done, quite pleased with the work they've carried out. Thanks very much, see you soon. So there we go, all collected, all picked up, work carried out. I shall show you um, a bit more once um, once I get back home. So uh, yeah, any issues, I shall let you know, but thanks for watching. See you soon.
So just to give you a bit of an update on the journey home, uh, the journey home isn't going as well as can be expected. Everything's fine with a caravan, uh, the problem is with the car. Um, I've got a restricted performance light come on. Um, apart from that, the car is running okay, apart from it's underpowered. Um, still putting the caravan all right, um, and I can sort of cruise steadily at about 55 miles an hour. Um, so my plan of action at the moment is basically to carry on home, um, get the caravan home and then um, get the car uh, recovered to my local Land Rover specialists. Uh, a little bit annoying, um, but, uh, but hopefully touch wood I shall get home okay. Anything changes I shall let you know. Okay, just to give you all an update, um, I had the restricted performance light come on. I managed to pull over, uh, left the car for five minutes, turned it off, left it for five minutes, started it again, and it's cleared itself. It hasn't come back on again. Um, I've been traveling probably for about half an hour or so since, um, since it's cleared, uh, not come back on again. I've got about 40 minutes to get back home. Um, so touch wood, we should be okay. Um, although I think it will need some further investigation, so I need to get the car into the uh, into the garage for them to have a look at it. So touch wood, we'll be back home without any further problems. Well, the good news is we've arrived back safely. Um, I haven't had a reoccurrence of the um, restricted performance warning light, and the car's been running fine. Um, so I'm literally just turning into our street now. Uh, and should be pulling up in front of the house any moment very soon. So that's it back. Um, what I'll do is once um, once I've got it unhitched and back on the drive, um, I'll do a couple of quick videos just on what the dealer has done, what they've fitted and that sort of thing. So thank you very much for following me and I shall see you shortly. Okay, so I'll give you a better look at the door lock now. Um, this is a Malenko um, door lock. This is the one that can be operated from both the inside and the outside. It gives extra security across the door. Uh, and basically to operate it is you turn the key in, move it up, lock it back, lock it in the up position, turn the key in, move it up, and lock it back in the down position. And that's it, it's pretty straightforward. It gives that extra protection um, from the door. What I liked about this is that you can also operate it from the inside. So let's go inside and we'll take a look. So just to try and show you how this operates from the inside. Now you have the handle, we've obviously got it in the lock position. So you turn it to the unlocked, and then you slide it down again, you can see it coming down out across the door and you turn it back to lock it again. Again, you turn it and then you slide it up and then turn it to lock it in position. And we'll try that with the door closed. So let's just slam the door, give the door, uh, give the door a slam shut. So door shut, uh, it's in the lock position so we can't move it. So we turn the handle up or turn the lock handle up, bring it down across the door like so and then turn it back and then that's basically locked it in place. So again to release it and then turn it back and then turn it so it's in the up position and then we can open the door. So that is the Malenko um, door lock. I like that because it comes through. I could have fitted it myself as I said before but because it involves drilling through the side of the caravan uh, I wanted the dealer to do it so it remains part of the warranty. So let's go and take a look at the external antenna that was fitted for me. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera as well and I just want to apologise for the state of the caravan. I haven't had a chance to watch, wash it yet, I only got back from the dealers yesterday. Um, towing it, uh, it got absolutely ditched. So we've got the paint seal direct on there, so hopefully with a bit of a water, a bit of soap, a bit of brush, it should all come off. So don't normally like to have the caravan like this, but I wanted to finish off this vlog. So if you can see it through there, I apologise about the dirt. So here's the antenna on the top of the caravan. Um, quite pleased with that actually. It looks quite neat, smart. Um, no real big issues with that. Just the side of the TV antenna. So yes, very pleased with that. Um, I'll be putting a link below um, for the antenna. So in the comments below or in the description below, there'll be a link for the antenna. So let's head inside and see what it looks like inside. 
So the basic of the antenna comes down uh, above the wardrobe next to the um, aerial. So there's where the antenna comes through the roof. There's the mounting point. And then it comes down to its own power supply. So it's got its own booster built-in Wi-Fi power supply, which then from there, what I've got is power here for the router uh, and then the two antenna mounting cables. It does come with some adapter cables as well uh, if you wanted to change that. And what I really like about this is there's a, there's a magnetic block just here. And let me just go and find my router and I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to use the, or be using the next Netgear M2, uh, Netgear Nighthawk M2. Now with this here, it came with a um, metal pad. So basically on the back here, look, uh, I've stuck that metal pad on there. And all you need to do then is literally lock it on there. I don't know if you saw that. That basically just locks in place there. And then what we do uh, with the night gear, night gear, net gear is one goes in there. The other one goes in there. I would do it properly, but it's quite difficult to do. The only difference or the only problem I've got is this is a um, micro USB connector and in the bottom of the Nighthawk is a USB-C. So I've got a USB-C or micro US, sorry, start again. I've got a micro uh, USB to USB-C adapter uh, coming, should be with my mind. So I can put that on there and plug that straight into there. But what I'll do is I'll just connect that up as it should be. And then you can see what it looks like. So that's the aerials connected up there. That's the router mounted onto the system. And then that is plugged into there or when I get the adapter, it will be plugged into there. So all in all, not a bad installation. It's all tucked away nicely inside the back of the wardrobe. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so let's go outside and we'll uh, finish up and review the video. So that's another one from Caravan Escapades. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Um, I'll keep you updated, obviously, on the progress with the car. I have got it booked in for Monday, so it's going back over to the Land Rover Specialist on Monday, uh, and hopefully they can diagnose or find out what the problem is. Especially as we're kind of going away a week Friday, or sorry, not week Friday, we're going away this Friday. Um, so it'd be nice to at least have the car working and ready for that. Um, some of the footage, the in-car footage that I did, that was the first time using um, the new Insta360 Go camera. Really cracking camera, tiny, tiny little thing. And I have done a vlog on that, which I'll be putting out at some point in the near future. So, as always, guys, give us a big like if you found that useful. Um, hopefully you did. Certainly the likes help us with the channel, help us keep um, progressing and moving. We're steadily growing now. Um, we're at about 230 subscribers, or certainly the time of this going out, about 230 subscribers. That's absolutely awesome. We've only been going just over three months, so I'm really, really pleased and chuffed with that. So give us a like. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, um, your subscriptions are very much appreciated. Um, and we shall see you, hopefully, on the next video. So you take care and we'll see you soon. Thank you.